Sustainable management is important to ensure that the benefits we get from tropical rainforest can continue to be used by both us and future generations without causing long-term environmental damage. There are many practices for this. Selective logging and replanting is a sustainable method of logging that is a preferred alternative to clear cutting. Clear cutting is where all of the trees are destroyed in an area, whereas selective logging involves only cutting down certain trees and leaving the rest unharmed. For example, loggers may target mature trees or highly valued trees such as mahogany. The logging is done over a 30 to 40 year cycle, however selective logging still poses risks. Felled trees can damage other trees as they fall and large areas of forest still need to be cleared so that machinery can access the areas. Conservation is another important way to encourage sustainable use of the rainforests. Conservation areas allow large areas of the rainforest to be protected and preserved, such as part of a national park or nature reserve. These can be used for education and ecotourism, two other important aspects of sustainable use of the rainforests. Ecotourism uses the valuable industry of tourism to benefit the rainforest. It is small scale, so does not have a huge environmental impact, and job opportunities are created for locals. The money generated is used to protect the rainforest, and the tourists are also educated about the importance of the rainforest. International agreements are also useful in creating standards for rainforest conservation and protection worldwide. Some countries have made debt for nature swaps, where a country agrees to protect its rainforest in exchange for its debt being cancelled or reduced by another country or organisation. And some international organisations help to encourage sustainable use of the rainforests. The Forestry Stewardship Council is one of these. It has a labelling scheme, which you may recognise, used to mark products that have been sustainably sourced from forests. Furthermore, they aim to reduce the demands for particularly rare or valuable hardwoods in favour of more sustainable options.